The Miami Dolphins took a tough hit against the Buffalo Bills with a 31-10 loss, but let's not get too caught up in the score. Sure, it's not what we hoped for, but there are moments in this game that show this team still has fight, and that's something to hold on to. We've got players stepping up, milestones being reached, and some key stats that remind us it's only week two. Let's dive into some of the positives, because even in defeat, there's always something to build on. Let's start with Devon Chain. Man, this guy is electric. He's not just any running back, he's a weapon. A chain had 22 carries against the Bills, racking up 96 yards. That's a solid 4.4 yards per carry, and when you're looking for consistency, that's the kind of number you want to see. His longest run of the night? 17 yards. He wasn't breaking off huge plays every time, but he was grinding it out, play after play, showing he's not afraid of a little heavy lifting. And just when you think he's done, he ties his career high with seven receptions, adding another 69 yards in the air. A chain even caught a five-yard pass from Tua Tagovailoa for his first receiving touchdown of the season. This guy's a dual threat, no question. What's even more impressive? A chain is keeping up with some serious company. Only two other running backs since 2023, Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard, have put together a game with at least seven catches and 22 carries. And let's not forget that a chain's making history, becoming the first Dolphins running back to put up 90-plus rushing yards and 60-plus receiving yards in a single game since Kenyon Drake did it back in 2017. This kid is just getting started, and with 13 touchdowns through his first 13 games, he's already tied for fourth in NFL history for the most touchdowns by a running back in their first 13 games. Big names like Eric Dickerson and Marcus Allen? Yeah, those guys are the only ones ahead of him. If that doesn't get you hyped about a change future, I don't know what will. Now, flipping to third downs, the Dolphins had some good news. Historically, third downs have been a struggle against the Bills, with a rough 32.8% conversion rate since 2022. But not this time. The Dolphins converted 7 out of 15 third down attempts. Sure, it's not perfect, but it's progress, and in football, progress matters. It's a step forward from week 1 when they went 8 for 16 on third down conversions. That's 48.39% for the season so far, ranking 8th in the league. Last year, the Dolphins were sitting at 40.19%, so we're already seeing improvement. These are the little things that can make a big difference over a season. Speaking of stepping up, let's talk about Jonu Smith. He had a quiet debut against the Jaguars, with just one catch for 7 yards. But against the Bills, he showed up. Six receptions, 53 yards, that's the most yards he's put up in a single game since week 16 of the 2023 season. Smith's involvement is critical, especially with the Dolphins looking to diversify their passing game. He was targeted seven times, tying him with a chain for the most looks in the game. If Smith can keep this up, he's going to be a reliable option for Tua, which is exactly what the offense needs. Defensively, David Long Jr. was all over the place. Eleven tackles, with two of them resulting in lost yardage. This guy was a tackling machine, leading the defense with intensity. It was his first game with 11 or more tackles since last season, and this marks his sixth game with multiple tackles for loss. Long isn't just filling gaps, he's making plays. And while he was the standout, players like Jordan Brooks and Kendall Fuller also contributed, with Brooks tallying six tackles and Fuller adding four of his own, along with a pass deflection. The Dolphins might not have come out with a win, but they still outgained the Bills in total yardage, 351 to 247. That's something to take into Week 3. The offense is moving, and with some tweaks, they could be dangerous. Miami hasn't recorded three straight 350-yard games since 2023, and they're on the verge of doing it again. In terms of individual milestones, several Dolphins players hit career marks. Brooks played his 65th game, Austin Jackson hit his 50th start, and rookie running back Jalen Wright made his NFL debut. 
Even wide receivers Grant Dubose and Robbie Chosen got in on the action, with Dubose snagging his first career catch.